Okay, so it's a big flood here in Fredericton, in New Brunswick, and uh, I'm trying to get someone that's pretty outspoken or an MLA that's really stuck into it. There, I just sent him a note, call me. So, uh, you know, uh, politicians are politicians, and some are in, in power, some are in the opposition. This is Ross Wetmore. He's been doing selfies and videos. Don't know how many people how many people listens to it. I just sent him a note, tell him to call me. Uh, he doesn't have to talk to me, but uh, this is different. A politician calling you over the phone. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see how it goes. Big flood in Fredericton, Gagetown, Saint John, Hampstead. Uh, it just goes on and on and on and on and. Uh, I hear so many stories. These politicians are like psychologists. They, uh, people call when they got problems and they have to listen and listen and listen and listen. Myself, oh, here we go. Myself, I don't like to listen because I talk too much. This must be Ross. Blub, blub, blub. What are you doing? Blub, blub, I'm underwater, blub, blub. <laughs> There's a little bit of water, Charles. Is there? Well, you're on video right now. Am I on video? You're on video. You're on video. I've been blabbing for about a minute. And then you call. And Ross Wetmore. So uh, you're in MLA for Gagetown. Gagetown, Petacodia. That's the other word. So you're no longer just talking about Gagetown these days, you're talking about other issues. Well, Charles, I, the riding goes from Burton to Steve's Mountain, from Coal Creek to Tenants Cove. That's a big one. That's a big area. So, update, you're the MLA. I talked to David Kuhn last week and uh, he didn't really, he couldn't get that much information uh, are you getting a lot of info? Is it updated? Uh, there are lack of communication? How's it going? Well, um, I, 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 I think that uh, we get a lot of information because, you know, I have a lot of colleagues that are working very hard for this. Um, you know, I get out and about. Uh, Pam Lynch is uh, certainly doing a phenomenal job, and Jeff Carr. So, you know, there's no doubt about it, you know, by the time we put all our information together, yeah, we know what's going on. Yeah, but you just mentioned three members of the uh, uh, op opposition. Yeah. Are the Liberals doing a good job too? I, well, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't see any of my uh, caucus members uh, getting a picture with a suit on filling sandbags <laughs> or... Uh, you know, <laughs> carrying carrying a fridge or a chair out of an apartment. Uh, <laughs> now we're, Charles, Charles, we're doers. We're not talkers. I, I saw that and then I said, I don't know who your political advisors are, but uh, remove that picture immediately. <laughs> wasn't wasn't that a joke, Charles? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I mean, there there is not an election in a couple of months from now. <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys were in power, you'd do the same thing. Well, Charles, um, we're not in power. There's a big flood going on, the biggest flood in my area since uh, 1973, and um, I would like to think that if you look at myself. Pam Lynch, Jeff Carr, Bill Oliver, Gary Crosman, and Blaine Higgs. You have not seen any of us pose for a photo op. And and let's not forget Jay Stewart. Is it flooding up there too? I don't know. I haven't seen him around. Have you seen him? Um, well, I haven't <laughs> seen him lately. But, don't answer that. You know? Don't answer that. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> Maybe he's the one that would take take the picture. Uh, listen, since the conservative, the uh, the big flood. You never seen a, blo a flood like this for a long time. It's seventy three. Would you uh, would you blame this on the uh, forestry act that the conservative signed? Um. Well, Charles, 
I think right now my main concern is to make sure my constituents uh, are safe. That's a political and, answer. And they're get, and they're getting everything they need. That's a what political the, answer. Wait, wait, I'm not finished. Oh, you're not finished. Okay, go ahead. Oh, God, I got the microphone. I'll take ten minutes. <laughs> um, and, I, and I think, Charles, that um, at the appropriate time, we should be going over everything to see is it is it the is it the clear cut. Is it the hydro company? I don't know, but we'd certainly like an answer. But uh, but I have been told that uh, the uh, St. John River has been flooding itself since since the good Lord made it. But I but I do think Charles that we should have an inquiry to find out what's causing this. My God, how many inquiries do we want? First is Chris Collin. Now is this. I want an inquiry when the two cops grab me by 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 the legislator. I want an inquiry for that one. Well, I I can't say if it's uh, well. I can't. All I can say is the 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 flood it was caused by you know um, uh, a heavy snow melt, a uh, quick and mother nature or man made. That's what we want to know, right? That's right. Yeah. That, that, that's and. and and how would we find out if it's man-made or nature? And how many years is that going to take? And who's going to do the investigation? Mr. Irving or... Oh, the media, did you hear? They're very happy. J.D. Irving allowed them to fly in there in his helicopter. Ah. Well... Don't answer that. Did they, they invite you? <laughs> Me? My God, it would be like the movie Scarface. They would take yeah. me for a ride. <laughs> and, and, uh, Charles, your invitation's in the mail. <laughs> invitation for what? For a helicopter ride? <laughs> yeah. So, I, 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 heard, I heard they'd take you up, but it wouldn't let you down. <laughs> they'll be right in the Bay of Funday. They'll say, can you swim, frog? <laughs> Here we go. Uh, what's the saddest story you hear so far? Um, well, um, we, we we managed to avert um, a serious disaster um, because of uh, well planned and um, and things like that. So we have one of our farmers. Uh, he's a he's a poultry farmer, and he was uh, getting new uh, or or sending his flock out. And uh, one of the fellows working for him, I, I guess apparently maybe he had a stroke. And uh, they called 911, and this guy lives, the, the farm's in Queenstown. They called 911, the, uh, the uh, ambulance got to a place called Tin Brook and couldn't get through, and the Gagetown Fire Department came and assisted. So they got the paramedic down, they got uh, the patient up, and I believe he's doing well. So, you know, for my area, that's, uh, that's you know, one of the exciting things. I'll tell you, Charles, that the biggest part of the flood is certainly, you know, in the Majorville, Sheffield area. Um, and so I think when it comes to people, Pam Lynch has seen uh, a lot of that. I called Pam on my way into town today. You know where she is? Where's that? She's out on a boat in Grand Lake going door to door, seeing if people are all right. My God, I thought Chris Austin was doing that. Uh, apparently, Chris, I, I don't know. I, nobody's seen him. Nobody's seen him. I thought I saw a video of him. I didn't listen to it. I, like, I, I'm, I, well, I'm sorry. I'm too. I, I never, I never listened to yours. Also, I, I'm too busy talking about me, me, me. So you know what I mean. Well, it's all about you, Charles. Oh, of oh. course. How many views have you got in your Facebook on on your videos? Do you find it's a way to communicate with with the voters? Uh, well, I find it's a good way to do it. I'm not a really good typer. Okay. And and you know what? I get out. The the, the videos aren't long. Yeah. You know, they could be anywhere from a minute to, uh, well, depending, five minutes. And uh, get the facts out there and, and away I go. That's why I told you to call me so I could play the devil advocate here, you know. Oh, well, so, so, what, so what are you saying? 
What am I saying? The goddamn, the goddamn conservative, the forestry act. That's what's causing this goddamn flood. Flood. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Well, Charles, you you just you just show show me the evidence. The evidence. Oh my God, you sound like a sci scientist now. Uh, I always said a politician was a psychologist or a psychiatrist. They listen to people, but now they want to see they want to see the evidence. If it doesn't fit. We will not remove this forestry deal. We will continue uh, on for another 21 years. I, I never said a word. I just, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing here. <laughs> listen, Charles. I've heard people tell me the Toronto Maple Leafs are great. <laughs> Show me the evidence. Right? <laughs> You're telling me the forestry plan doesn't work. Show me the evidence. That's like. Wait. I, I'm not disagreeing. I know this is not a time to joke, but I mean, it's just that this forestry act and that uh, you see so many log trucks just going by like crazy and the wood must be coming from somewhere. Um, well, it, it must be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but, the buffer zone, I hear they're gone and they're Joe, going right in the river. I, I, I agree with you that now's not the time. No. Um. I, I think there is a time and a place, yeah. but I think right now, let's get this over with. Let's make sure people are safe. Let's make sure people are taken care of, and, uh, you know, we can take it from there. And thanks for calling, Ross, and uh, you're not a frog. You can't swim, so don't be too close to the river. I'm from Camelton. Camelton? You mean you're a Quebec frog? You, you, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you later. Have a nice day, Charles. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Uh, Ross Whitmore. <laughs> Nam LA for Gagetown. Nice guy. Known him for. I remember when I uh, drove a van in Gagetown and uh, it was at the Irving uh, gas station. I guess up he came and introduced himself to me and uh, Next thing, you, was he a councillor or mayor of Gagetown then? He told me he was going to, he was the PC candidate. My God, how long ago was that now? 2010? My God, time, time flies, time flies. So anyway, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's nice, it's nice to get the other side and play the devil advocate and uh, let's pray that everything's going to be all right.